So all I wanted to do was recreate my favorite moment in any video game ever in Unity. And I ended up creating a game that has the potential of ruining your life in Unity. And your dog's life. So if you think back and remember the first time you played Metal Gear Solid, Psycho Mantis will read your mind and tell you the games you've played in the past. I mean, he'll read your memory card actually, but that's besides the point. So I was watching a clip of this on YouTube and everyone seemed to be commenting about Psycho Mantis somehow reading your browser history. So I thought to myself, is that possible? Can I make a game read your browser history and humiliate you to your face? Well, there's only one way to find out. But first, let's actually try and just recreate what Psycho Mantis was doing in the first place. I mean, how can you tell if a game is installed anyways? Well, luckily, it's surprisingly simple. Most people install their games in the default places they go anyways. So if you just go to where Steam games are installed, Epic games are installed, and you play, but not Origin, you could tell if a game is installed. But what if someone doesn't install it in the default place? Well, maybe we could check the registry, but that just takes so much effort, and I don't really even know what that is. <laughs> So if you don't install your games in the default places where they're supposed to go, Mantis won't know about them. Anyways, I wrapped up all the games nicely in a- JASON! So even you, yes you, could add your own games to be detected. But not only that, I kinda need something to play when Mantis discovers a game. So uh, I just recorded some placeholder audio. Well now it's the time you've been waiting for. How the hell are we gonna make it so that you could read a browser history in a video game? I mean that's- But just before we do that, we kinda have a bigger problem on our hands. And that is, what the heck is this game gonna look like? I decided to grab a few reference images of Mantis himself, open it up in Blender, and uh, we came out with this. Oh, uh, that's the wrong video. Uh, this is what I made. Bruh. Then I got a model of a library from this guy named Justin on Sketchfab. Next, we put it in Unity, and it looks like this. Add some more cameras, add some camera shake, add some animation. Okay, I, I forgot. Post-processing. With that done, it looks amazing and now it's time to solve our problem. Which is how can we get Psycho Mantis to read your browser history? Let's go into this only supporting Chrome, because if we can't support Chrome, then pretty much the whole game is ruined and it was screwed. So it turns out, Google Chrome actually stores your history in a file named history. And this file is a SQLite file, which is a type of database. And I've never messed around with databases before because I prefer to do things on the computer that are fun. But in hopes to get my mission accomplished, I learned some SQLite. And it turns out, everything we need is in a table called URLs. This table has all the URLs of websites we visited or bookmarked. It also has the website's titles, which we could query for certain keywords. So for instance, if Mantis wanted to know if you're breaking NoFap, he could do a query and return all the websites that have instances of the word porn in it. But that's not all. We could use multiple keywords and pretty much find out anything we want. So with that all figured out, I made another JSON to hold search terms that we want Mantis to search for. I then did my best impersonation of Psycho Mantis I could, and I replaced all my placeholder voice clips. I even made it so that the number of instances of a particular fetish found in the history is displayed on screen for extra humiliation. You frequent stepmom porn. I added a few porn categories off the top of my head, but the thing is, I'm not a coomer and I'm on nofap, so I don't really want to go around searching for categories to add. So I went to the one place I knew people could help me, which is TikTok. And boy was I right. I made a TikTok asking for suggestions and showing the game, and I got so many keywords, I couldn't possibly record lines for them all. So I added a stat screen that will just show you the stats in a little nice graph or whatever you want to call it. Funnily enough, a lot of people recommended CP, which I think stands for COD points. People were giving me ideas for turning off the computer if CP is detected or calling the police or something. But the problem is, there's a lot of articles about CP and stuff. So just this, the, an instance of CP appearing doesn't mean they're guilty of trying to acquire CP, if you know what I'm saying. For instance, if you went to Jared Fogel's Wikipedia page, a famous CP acquirer, there's like a thousand instances of the, of the word CP in there. So the game would call the cops on you for that pretty much if I did that, which I didn't. But I still added it as a keyword to be searched for in the stats section of the game. So if like a 40 year old man with blue hair played the game and live streamed it, then we could all see, you know, what kind of porn that they enjoy the most. And with that, the game is done.
I didn't show any code in this video, so here's some of it. You can download the project and see the source code on GitHub. Link is in the description. I made it really easy for you to edit and add on to this game. Everything you need to concern yourself with is in the streaming assets directory. Go there and you can replace the voice lines I recorded with your own. WAV format only, by the way. If you want to add a game for Mantis to react to, just edit the JSON with the name of the game folder as it appears in any of these directories. Then add a WAV file of the same name to be played if the game is detected. Adding something in the browser history is the same deal. Just follow along in the JSON and enter the name of the WAV file and add it. Everything else is done automatically for you. Remember to download the game on itch. It's the first link in the description. Let me know what you think about my impression of Mantis. I don't recommend this if you want to keep your friends, but if you manage to get any unsuspecting victims to play this game, make sure to record it and email me a clip at lolovelemi.gmail.com. And tell me what you thought about this video at lolovelemi.gmail.com. Goodbye.